Testing. <laughs> Guys, it's Dev yet again reporting live from my bedroom. If you're new here, then hey boo hey. If you're a returning watcher, then it is so nice to see you again. Thank y'all for tapping into my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It is currently January 25th. The current forecast is lazy with the side of procrastination. Trying out something new with my audio. I feel like I always just have some extra shit going on in the background. So hopefully this makes my audio more clear and concise. And if you haven't got the chance to do so, go tap into the previous week's vlogs. I will keep these coming for y'all every Sunday. And make sure you also go watch my 10 questions to get to know me video. Today, I am going to pack up some orders from a current promotional sale that I'm running. I am also going to take y'all along with me later on this week when I go skiing. So let's get into the day and we're just going to take it from there. I'm not even going to do too much. I'm going to just start and let it flow. So period. And it's giving. Go, go, get. Okay, what's one thing that I wish that I would have known when starting my business? I just wish that I would have really taken my time before jumping into business. We're taking the time to get to know the ins and outs, the specifics behind the business. It's more than just starting and launching and putting up a website and hoping to sell out. There's countless nights where I don't get good sleep or I don't sleep at all. A lot of early mornings. Shout out to all my small business owners or business owners in general holding this shit down because our time is coming. You just got to stay down, stay patient. Don't hate on nobody else. Just wait for your time and your time will come. Always just put your trust in God. Put the work behind it. Always put in that work and have severe dedication. You just got to want it, but you got to be willing to give your all to this shit. So I burnt myself out trying to please everybody, launching hella products, making everything by hand. I feel like I was just overproducing and nothing was being sold, so I wasn't making any profit. But if I was to take my time, do the research, really put in 100% into everything, product, branding, marketing, I would have been able to get a little bit of a head start from where I am now but I'm just blessed and proud of myself that I'm able to even have my own business and thank you for so much for your support if you've ever supported me in any sort of way it doesn't go unnoticed and when I'm on I'm taking y'all with me I look kind of dusty right now but it's like I said I, I'm, I'm not feeling too well I'm stuffed up I'm gonna continue this vlog on for a couple of days I'm supposed to go do some skiing this weekend. It's just like a little afternoon because I live in Colorado, if you don't know, but I've never done any winter sports. This vlog is going to be fun. Just let's go. Let's get it done. Hey, guys. It's Sunday morning. Today I'm going skiing for the first time, so... I have to get ready to head out. I'm super, super tired, but the content must give. You know, we're trying new experiences and all that fun stuff. We're going on another adventure. I have to pull myself together, pack up all my ski stuff, and get some breakfast. Be me there. Don't meet me there. Mwah. This is all my stuff. I've got my waterproof snow ski boots winter pants, liners for underneath, socks, and goggles. Say good morning. He's not feeling it either. All right, y'all, this is what it's giving. I got my cute beanie on from at Pretty Girl Apparel. Shop with my girl, period. My little outfit, you got the warm vest, the jumpsuit with the tights are underneath, some ski socks. Now all I've got to do is put on my waterproof boots, my coat, and grab my goggles, and we gonna be out the door.
part of that show. Before any physical injury. So I'm riding on this ski lift for the first time ever and I'm terrified. I'm praying when I get to the top of this shit I don't slip and fall and this will be the last vlog y'all ever hear from me. Second time down the mountain. I basically almost died the first time that I went down the slope. I don't know, it's harder than it looks, but I'm definitely glad that I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I'm scared as hell. I can't lie. YOLO bitches. And... But at this point, I'm just really focused on not dying. As you can see, we're getting higher and higher. I'm on the little lift because who the fuck gonna keep on pulling themselves up this mountain? Okay guys, today was pretty much a success. I didn't die. I went about four to five times. The last time I went, y'all seen I didn't fall. So a win is a win. I'm proud of myself. I did it. My nose is red because I'm bright whenever I get cold, but it's actually pretty warm today considering that we're in the mountains. Everyone kept telling me how cute I look. Do you know everywhere I go, it's gotta be a fashion show. Now I'm about to head back into town, give me something to eat and call it do something to relax because this is it drained me baby i know i'm gonna be knocked out in the bed tonight Hey guys, so we're back from the ski expedition. I've lived to see another day. I am exhausted. I didn't fail so many damn times. My bones hurt, but the thing is, is I never gave up. I didn't quit. I was persistent and I tried something new. I'm gonna unwind, get in the bed. I have some editing to do now. So I will see y'all again later this week with another video. But thank y'all for coming along with me. Let's keep this shit going. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for tapping in with this video. And good night, bookies.